he um, he loves he loves being touched. So when you braid him, he just falls asleep. Oh uh, yeah, so I need to move this quite far back. Yeah. So um, he's putting an agricultural bridle on, and the agricultural bridle is this wide. But for his in hand bridle, it only sits where the head collar does. So I'm having to start the braid further back to give it space for the agricultural bridle. Right. Now everyone fixes in their braid differently. The traditional way is using bar, uh, bass, uh, which is like raffia. Whereas I use the cheap method and I fix it in by just doing a small plait, like so. And it gives me an anchor point, a starting point for it. He's and so well behaved for a stallion, isn't he? It? He's a good so stallion. So quiet. And then I just band it off and then I start the braid. And as we're going down, Gail will hand me the flights. Um, so that's it started. That's, and it's, so that's secure now. That's secure, yep. Yeah. So we and he take, just done that with his own mane. Yeah. yeah, with his own mane. So then that one crosses over and we work on a three pattern. So that's there, then this one crosses over the top, yep. like so, and we have to pull tight as we go. And this sits in the middle. So that one's always in the middle. We always one put the, one in the middle and one either side. One either side, right. And then we grab a bit of mane, yep. and we put it over here, and this is where I start pulling it tight. So right. you won't see the technique till we get a little bit further down and the pom-poms out of the way. And we're supposed to, the idea is hide the black hair. But white is not the best colour to have. And that one goes to the middle, which I'm stood on. Them in with the actual flat, you don't I'm just flattening them in yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at the black hair. The only bonus will is you that... Lose, will you get marks, marks knocked down if it's got hair in um, it? No, the beauty of a shire being this big is they can never see the top of the neck. <laughs> <laughs> I won't put the video out until you've gone in. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but have you seen how much black hair is in here? literally back to back implement harness stallion in hand ladies carp tomorrow and he's just been ridden and he's just been ridden straight Because he's wearing a collar, oh, right, okay. we're finishing off the plait early to make leave space for the collar. So you just twisted that round the last one. Yeah, 
and then I'm going to run it down the neck in a minute. It's going to do. And then the idea is I'm supposed to hide the black hair. <laughs> but because he's got an in-hand class as well, the in-hand flights will come down to here. Because so he's got his collar on. Um, so I'm going to have to put a really long main roll on him. Right. But I will cut a bit of this off. And so th then you're looking, is that flat supposed to lay down his shoulder? Yes. No. In front of the is collar. Is that so he doesn't interfere with this movement? Yes. Yes, yeah, so the collar will be here and this will sit in front of it. Right. But the idea is when it's in hand, you'll run it further down and it lies Along with his shoulder, shoulder and it just enhances it. Whereas yeah. um, the collar sits here, so we've got to leave the collar gap. Right, okay. Because 